In this East London residential street, dozens of police officers are about to raid a property linked to online fraud. The suspect is believed to have run an operation from this address using illegally obtained details to scam many thousands of pounds from unsuspecting victims. This raid is part of a nationwide crackdown targeting some of those responsible for frauds that cost the country tens of billions of pounds each year and amount to 40% of all crime. We identified a suspect who we believed was involved in quite a high level fraud. He was developing and sending out fraudulent links purporting to be from genuine organisations. When these links are clicked on, unfortunately it will give this suspect full access to your computer so he will be able to spy on what you're doing, he will be able to access your computer and he will use that to access your online bank accounts and commit high value fraud against you. Final warning, to receive your package, confirm your details. Alongside the police enforcement activity, the government has now launched a wide-reaching anti-fraud campaign. Hi James, your bank account has been compromised and I need a few personal details. It includes a new website with fraud safety advice and adverts on billboards, television and social media. Stay ahead of scams at gov.uk slash stopthinkfraud aiming to make the public better informed about the potential risks. Fraud is down 13% year on year, and that's because we are taking this extremely seriously. Let me be absolutely clear, this is a vile crime, and it is a crime that hurts British people across the United Kingdom. There is no way we will ever tolerate it, and that's why the investment in the National Fraud Squad and the National Fraud Intelligence Unit is so important. Latest figures show a slight drop in fraud-related crime last year, which still amounted to 3.3 million offences. Labour say the Conservative government has presided over an almost eight-fold increase in fraud offences since coming to power. This suspected online fraudster is now in police custody, awaiting a likely prosecution. Authorities want the public to be far more aware of the growing risks out there from the many others looking to exploit and to steal from the unsuspecting. Mark White, GB News.